viewers and subscribers welcome back to another video and in this week's video i will be telling you the history of a jamaican who won jamaica its first gold medal this individual also broke an olympic record and was a medical doctor this person was even a spitfire pilot if you're interested in knowing who this person is and how this person broke an olympic record stay tuned and leave your guesses in the comment section if you're new to our family hit the subscribe button if you learned something please like the video and leave a comment born 1920 in jamaica this individual showed promise as an athlete from a young age just 17 this person was named the jamaica athlete of the year an achievement that they proved that they deserved when the person took home gold in the 800 meters at the central american games the following year fast forward to 1942 when the raf began to recruit people from the british colonies to help with the second world war effort the individual along with their two brothers signed up to the british commonwealth air training plan and was sent to canada from training while there he continued to demonstrate his athletic prowess by winning the canadian 400 meter race and setting a new record have you figured out who it is yet it's none other than drum roll please Arthur Wint aka the Gentle Giant. Wint gained his wings from the RAF in 1944 after which he was sent to Britain where he took part in active service as a Spitfire pilot. For a few years after the war ended Wint stayed in the RAF. During this time he continued to compete as an athlete, winning races for the RAF at the White City Stadium and at the English Triple A's Championship. Then, in 1947, Wynn's life took a different path when he won a scholarship to study medicine at St. Bartholomew's Hospital. Something which even today is no mean feat. You'd be thinking that it was at this point when he hung up his running shoes. After all, he was training to be a doctor at one of the most prestigious hospitals in the world. You'd be wrong. While studying to be a doctor, Wynn competed for Jamaica in the 1948 Olympic Games in London. He also happened to win Jamaica's first ever Olympic gold medal when he won the 400 meter race in a time of 46.2 seconds equaling then world record. He also competed in the 800 meters and took home silver and the 4 by 400 meter relay which he sadly pulled a muscle in and so missed out on a likely podium finish. With the Olympics over, Wint focused on his studies, until that is, the next Olympic in Helsinki in 1952, where he was determined to make good on a promise he'd made four years before, that he and his relay teammates would take home gold this time round. He made good on his promise in those games. Wint and his teammates took home gold in the 4x4 four four meter relay and set a new world record at the same time. He also won silver for a second time in the 800 meter race. In 1953, Wint qualified as a doctor from St. Bartholomew's Hospital. He also ran his final race in Wembley Stadium that year. The following year, the Queen made him a member of the British Empire and in 1955 he returned to his home country of Jamaica, specifically Hanover. There he worked as the parish's only doctor and surgeon until around 1974. At this time, he returned to England where he served as Jamaica's High Commissioner to Britain. Not one to content doing only one thing at a time, he also served as Jamaica's ambassador to Sweden 
and Denmark during this period. After a four-year stint as a diplomat, Wint went back to his medical roots. He returned to Jamaica in 1978 where he worked at Linstead Hospital as a senior medical officer and surgeon until 1985. He died in Linstead in 1992 at the age of 72 and was survived by his wife and three daughters. Throughout his career, Arthur Wint was known to many as the gentle giant and while he is perhaps best known for his athletic abilities, we can't look past the amazing work he did as a doctor. He received a scholarship to one of the best medical hospitals in the country, graduated and then used his skills and education to improve the health of people in his own country acting as the sole medical professional for his parish and caring for the people's needs. So we have made it to the end of this presentation this video i hope you all learned something um as usual if you're new to my channel please subscribe and as i said if you learn something leave a comment tell me what you have learned like up the video you know thank you for listening thank you for being here this has been jamaican tv and thanks for watching bye guys